Well, you can see my head a bit. So I'm going to talk about using my movement. Press that time for day. Sorry. Set zero. Game. Cycle loss. Let's keep it to this end. Well, let's start this show. Going to cover using it with movement. First, going to cover it uh, from a gameplay standpoint and then from a detail standpoint. Okay, being creative for gameplay. So, starting off, uh, I know that uh, showcasing what to do is a bit weird because you start on this random island, push a button, and you start here and you don't get any info, but once you pass to this repair, you get the speed. Wait, also, and also saturation, so you don't pin out of food because I said it's not normal. So starting path starts. Uh, also, class grassy glitchy with that fire mode. So you start with uh, on this path, and that is pretty much simple. It's just making sure that uh, you know how to properly turn, get used to how it. Speed 15 works for a bit, for like 10 seconds or more. How to turn left and right, left, and make sure that you don't rant and run into tr trees too often. Nothing too hard, don't get any penalty. It can, uh, then you get to the checkpoint. But there's actually an alternate way. Let's just do a slash kill a little bit. There's an alternate way to do this first level, and it's to go inside this cavern at this intersection, and you'll also get the first emerald block. Find the location of the first emerald block. There's still a six. I'm going to fall down at once, and yeah. So sector two, gameplay-wise, this threat is continuation of the gimmick of trees in the way. Now rather than having a bit like a bit one or two blocks in the way, now it's a bit more of a couple of piles of sand. You can walk straight through a couple of lines, like staying into these two blocks of line, these two, this one, but it not require much. And then the first fork in the road, and before I show that, uh, behind this building. Uh, it's actually uh, the second emerald block, uh, because why not? So, this continues into the lava section, which I'm going to cover uh, after. But after you do the first turn to show that you're not just hugging walls and, you know, if, if you would continue straight, you would fall into lava unless you manage to do this and then, well, I, I'm, I'm uh, fair of I'm happy enough to give you a way to get out. But if not, let's continue more zigzagging the piles of uh, uh, obstacles in the way now cover half of the entire uh, track. Like previously, like I told you, block, uh, trees would cover one, now it's three wide, now it's pretty much seven wide. After this, you get a drop if you do the drop like this while you take fall damage because I'm deciding, yeah, you know what? I'm still not sure about fall damage, but yeah, I'm gonna. I mean, I could just put feather falling. It was, it's, it's a bit weird, to, my opinion on fall damage. Right now, I'm hoping f I'm sticking with fall damage. So, but if you don't want to take fall damage, you can take it slow or hug the walls. Now, uh, you do it a quick turn. Now we do a bit of a, uh, we continue uh, the idea of uh, avoiding the obstacles in the way with a bit uh, by flipping the stuff on its head. The main path is, the obstacle is actually pits and if you can stop it, well, good. You can easily go into the apartment a couple seconds early, like three or four, but if not, you fall if you fall past this line, well, you can't get back up and more uh, not going around. 
in this vehicle I was planning a extra path but I didn't do it and now more uh, I'm getting used to your controls one and one the big turn or you can also go quickly behind the, the socket net then you can go continue there's water in the way in the stairs more stuff to you can to impede on your journey or you can take uh, this set of stairs in the back to quickly jump and reconnect with the path that uh, was from earlier the path from uh, going apart with early you do a couple jumps a bit harder but continues like this and you can easily exit out from here but if you don't well it's a bit more of a turn with more blocks in the way and then once you are done more a bit more vehicles a couple of jumps now and then the last section of uh, this the second area for for uh, the longer path you can either go over to show that you can improve and there would be spikes here but I don't know how to do it uh, without mods and mods are tricky and a lot of na a nasty bug that's just too hard to utilize for big maps so I didn't bother one every two I stopped but if you can safely do show you can do it you can if not there's two other options the faster the second fastest is to jump over this pile of sand into this small area enclosed area that seems like from outside that it's just a big pile of sand and you know what it doesn't seem right whatever just a big you think it would just be a big pile of sand but you can actually enter it go under and this end the solar path is more zigzagging more more getting these two controls with the main idea is that uh, I'm slowly ramping up uh, the difficulty uh, on both easier and sl uh, slower path the easiest path and the longer path like for example on like I told you a bit of tr a, bit sl sli a slight turn with trees then a bit more abrupt turns with the uh, bigger rubble in the way and we continue the idea then we then more narrow corridors in the apartments and this then uh, more zigzagging with the again more rewards for faster players agile players and before we continue uh, the lava path uh, got longer because uh, I felt the section was too short and was too easy if you would just go around here even then going all around was after I said, you know, go around, and then it made the path of going all around like this, the slower path faster. So I've added the, the apartments and the, and the lot in the, the two extra rooms, and to go inside here, lava room, and then a room that will be filled with spikes, uh, like I told you, mods. So you then exit out from either this path to jump over he, over here, here, or you go down here to jump back here and find a way to like this path would lead you onto this this singular block or just here. Okay, sec section three. This this kind of remix. So if we continue a bit more safe area because loading chunks if can sometimes be a bit so a bit of safe area minus this hole it's pretty safe for players to just take a wide turn go in here nothing to worry about in here unless they jump twice into the lava then this area which I like how it works sometimes because you can the, the original plan was due to this, but if you're skilled enough, you can do. 
I'm not. This is uncut. And you can do this. Now, after this, uh, more jumping. If you're. If you can prove that uh, you can jump uh, multiple. You keep a good tempo on your jumps. Well, you go inside this area, which gives pretty much 75% of this area. If not, well. It's more getting used to jumping. There is a way like to properly uh, jump from one end to another. Like if you get a good tempo, you can go from this like like that. There is a clear pathways to go, and after this, you can easily go down here. This is a section to increase the. Time loss if you fail this jump, which I'm gonna talk later. Go down here, need to fix this, whatever. It's, it's, you can get locked. This is like the only locked area in the official place. Doesn't matter. More uh, jumping and then you get to to uh, the connector area with, for more downtime. A way to calm off the difficulty curve of level 1. If you want to go faster, well, there is is a second lava pit for as a change of pace, and intended way is to go around here, go onto the broken water pipe, which I just realized it's actually filled with water. But really, enough. Actually, no. And what the fuck are you doing? I thought you were. Uh, but it actually makes sense that there isn't water because it, the water would just have been drained. Makes sense. I didn't see myself. So you just uh, jump around uh, yeah, stay from stuff like broken windows that are on the side, piles of sand, pipes, uh, rubble on the ground, and then you can continue around here. Oh, uh, and uh, even though you, I just realized you can actually. I was really trying to do my best to make this jump impossible while making the jump from up here possible, but you can actually just. Okay, I need to get a bit more of a rank start. Let's step from the pipe. Come on, game. You can actually do it. I'm trying to get in. I can't. Like that. You can do the jump like that, which, I mean, this is why this lava is here to kind of force you to not do it, but I accidentally. But it didn't really help. So once you get up here, you go all around or jump or use the slaps to get an even better jump, a bit more parkour, and. You can, if you, and the last thing you need to do is five block jump, or else you go in this, and your reward is also for doing this, is also finding the secret. Now, this section would be, uh, I'm debating, and should I put spikes? If I would put, be able to put spikes, it would be spikes, but then it would make the whole thing that I, the more I think about it, it's a cool down area. I don't think a bit of stuff in the way would make sense, but. This is a down time, I feel. Okay, so this section. You go around here, go tree. If you fall, you run around this entire uh, giant fountain. But if you succeed, you can continue on balcony and do cool stuff like running on the window, running on on the scenery. Also, to do uh, to get the scenery, you actually need to do you get the idea. My my input feels lagging right now. That's a bit plain. too much. Yeah, that's a better input pattern used using for using this second basketball hoop. Also, you can't really make that jump, so you need to either use these, this, or the iron bars to be able to get out and easily escape. If not, well. You play on the lower parts of the alley with uh, stuff like I tried to do a skateboard ramp and then 
bit more ramps like structures to be like oh there's an alley and escape part because why not bit more jumps you bit boing boy if you and this section comes back to if you only manage to do this the medium level the which has a lot of ways like you can go through ladders go from the tree until you go around like so you go around tree wood 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 and don't mess it up because you are trying to stream it up to an OBS and it just sucks and then there's three ways you can do this you can jump here jump over the iron fence or use this small thing but the, the this small drop down is better but these blocks to make sure that people just don't think of jumping over seeing over these lampposts for fun and for the hard path uh, you would you can understand that if I'm talking about like this whole bottom area would be spikes and would be a great uh, way of like hey this path is not really it's really hard and for newer players it would be a turn off to make sure that people don't go this would be a bit turn off, a bit of a turn but I've added a bit of decoration to make people jump over a lava instead because I can. I need to uh, work sand jump and before I show this another sn an second secret that's just like on the main path not in a secret room just like if you it's a blanket and you miss it moment because you don't like just going to show it to you like example of not seeing it you just ooh there's all this thing and yep you just missed it let's let's add a bit of time on the let's do freaking yeah this is better like it, no matter what if you keep looking through that direction you'll miss this okay now this section all I do this line is just to make sure that you can bounce in if you don't want to take fall damage. This section, a, a small area, also to make sure that no backtracking. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to talk about backtracking uh, when I do a second turnaround. With detail. A quick turnaround before I do detail. So, this section, you jump on to talk again. Block and blocks. Falling block. You know, blown chunks and stuff. And I've color coded the holes so people are aware of it because going fast, you want to be aware of stuff. So if you're on the bottom hole, you have a second chance with this fine box to not go into the water section. But if not, you fall around here, water, water section with fluid pads. Actually, the only water section I think on biggest water section in the entire. There's not really any water. If not, you go around here and then you can make uh, this fire block jump, which is pretty easy with speed with speed 15. Uh, you can make it. If not, well, you go on the bottom path and go all around again with a small with this small thing to give you a chance to go back up. And like I told you, mm, this is about sight, mm, uh, not uh, messing up uh, your side step. Uh, not messing up uh, with uh, a bit more challenge, slightly more challenge each time you do it. So, like in that thing, then it's not a side, but where there's a, you can't hug the wall, then there is in the middle, then the sides to make it a bit more hard on the other way. Also, this path can lead to this, which is cool. And uh, if you can, let's not start with the bottom area because this is, uh, oh boy, this is a lot of stuff to talk about. There is this, uh, the upper path, which is what I think would be, is a good flowing area for 
because of how fun it, it looks and satisfying to do to this the top uh, like a top baseline area and then all the platforms so but the most bottom line area is like there's a lot of rubble in the way and you just need to find a path like you can go around here to hopefully climb a bit higher or go around in here find a secret if you can and just jump from platform to platform if not I can just zigzag around try to find a way into all the this section of wood, this section of wood also. If you're a keen eye, you can see that there's this small hole to go into this area rather than doing a bit of a turn around to go into side here. A bit higher, it's gen the next couple of layers all the same area. Basic of just keep staying. Uh, on the move and if you fall you have a chance to probably fall into the level below and the, uh, the f which which is just a bit less harder than the version that's on top like this one like this is just technically a too high of a bit because you go so fast that you can't really these don't really can this is hard to stand on like I'm trying to show you that it's hard to stay on the sides of the thing so if you are going fast well you, you are going to fall and a bit of turning you have an option to either go into this or go with uh, all the jumping or just do a bit of Side stepping stuff with uh, more holes on the top and fewer holes on the bottom, and to the point that there's no holes and you're just on, top, on the bottom. And all these paths reconnect with this, these two are giving you a chance to believe. If you're one layer below, you do this. And if you're in the most bottom layer, in any of the two bottom layers, this one will lead you instantly to the next one I'm going to show. But if you're on the even the most bottom of the five layers, you well gotta climb this ladder, do a big turn. But if you're one level above, you can just skip all that and quickly go around this to walk jump, and you'll reconnect to this climb section while. The toughest path can simply just see the arrow and go to the checkpoint. While the, the all the other paths needs to zigzag a bit. Section six, three optional paths. You see, Miss Orb is actually mirrored on the sides, and a bit mirrored on the sides, and they just bring you back here. You just do a parkour, this one brings you, fills you down to the bottom, while this one would have spikes, but I already talked about the spike situation. And you continue, you can fall to the bottom layer on this set, but not this one, this one I just look. And yeah, you continue each, you get the idea of it, you bottom path there, you can just clear also the Emerald blocks in the bottom, the last emerald block actually. And you can just roam around, like there's a path here, there's a path here, you can even just cr cross to here. You can, if you fail to jump, you can just save yourself into this hole, do some zigzag to get here, and yeah, there's actually, if you think that I've utilized all this space in this area, uh, no. But it's a lot like uh, this is almost close to the end of the wall. Doesn't really matter, people don't think about it. But this obviously didn't. And you just do parkour. This room is. It's, it feels so hard and so slow that you're just better off uh, doing the other sections. This section. And then you 
And you go around here, reconnect with the main path without tree a lot. Then do a bit of a turn that or a jump over the small fence, and you're done with the first level. Now on to the second level, which I haven't finished because it's the second the one I'm current and that I stopped working on. Also because I want to it to be one single thing. So you're starting here. You can see the area you were just for but from above. And there's not a lot of decoration of I know. So you can either jump through this to easily do the first section in like three seconds or you need to go all around for an additional two going to the water and climb ladders for even more then a bit of zigzagging you can jump from iron fence to slide to iron fence to slide if you're good enough or if you zigzag well watch out near the end because you can fall down into the pit I know crasher did I'm not going to con but I think I just karma myself for later because uh, after I joked about him, I fell into the wall pit in this section. And now, I'm not going to go into detail of all the paths because I, there's probably too much to mention, but all the blocks here have a purpose. Like, these are to stop you from running this. This is also this because your tank's on this the slower middle all these rails uh, all these broken rails uh, you can jump from one to another this is way harder uh, sitting safety grace here you can go around more safe here even though you endured way more uh, stuff in the way on this path with and there's still a bit of holes plus you know holes in the that iron bars give to give you like that does it go well oh and uh, this is the first the first area that would have an emerald block is right here for this level and the only way to ex Access it uh, by this because, well, you're too far for with this. Labs. And then you can continue. Also, for the main, the hard path, you go around here and then you can quickly from this side just uh, take the entire left side for yourself with uh, this broken, uh, with this train. Wagon system that uh, just with different legs that just decided to break down, and then top is path. Main way to do it is to not like that, but to actually go from this platform to this platform, this platform, this platform, these platforms, go around here, take this Nick path, and hopefully end up in here. And but if you but if you mess up at the end you have a chance. And all of these blocks, like I'm telling you, have a purpose. Like if you want to do it uh, for another point, without uh, going to the train car, you can just take a slower path like this that goes here, 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 here. Jump to the iron fence, and then you can open up yourself to whatever direction for finishing like you can take a bit of here which doesn't amount to much but you can then jump into this small path for all these all these seamlessly connect to each other and I like it then after this uh, you go all around this just leads back to here so I know cool scenery mm -mm. This whole f this whole wall is because well, train track, and then you can just climb, do a couple of jumps, go into this train station near the end of the path, and lead up to the checkpoint. But if you take the longer path, well, you have here. There's a couple of ways to climb sand. There's also climbing sand from this path. Uh, there's also going under the passage of sand 
there's jumping from either from the wood or the iron bars to go over the train track or sneakily enter through here and you think you can no but you can still have access to the other side and also the emerald block will be located in that area the way you get it is either through this sea lantern which i can't do or this iron bar fence it just seems a bit off and well the, the, this would be the area, area because no one would be able to see it from any angle because this wall blocks the view so you continue train tracks turns a bit you can fall and then you arrive to a wall does it make sense physically no not really you can easily cheese the uh, and skip uh, the entire turn by jumping through here and then exiting out here but if not there's two ways there's the door that i marked with lies iron a lot of stuff walking the way you can also climb it if you want but there's uh, and the rubble has been placed in a way so we can't go to the other side so we can exit out here or you can sneakily enter to this passageway climb a couple of blocks and then you uh, and since i decided to remove a lot of rubble and this can just show the area can show you how all of this makes more sense and i added these just for fun but you can see that with a lot less rubble, you can kind of get an idea of what I'm trying to do. Like, if you can stay on the stone slabs, smooth stone slabs, you can uh, easily uh, just turn around 90 and continue. But if not, well, a bit problem. If you didn't understand the idea, well, it's even less rubble because at this point if you keep hitting to rubble then it's probably gets annoying so i'm giving you a free bypass until the checkpoint to calm things down in this area the trees are in the small bushes trees are in the way to make so it's hard to to just enter to this area because this can lead to this Arch area and also another uh, area you can go back to to rise up the challenge, meaning that if you fall, you can't back up with a bit more parkour. I made this a bit easier because it was annoying to time jumps. And you can just take an easy 100 block straight, watch out for the pit, talk. It would not be easy because of that spikes, but whatever. And then you can just exit out here. But if you take the other path, it's the biggest op the option that a lot of people will probably take is going inside the market and then turn and you know, a lot of people play it after this because I had the rest of the stuff is added. After, there's also this small section which is so far on the side, but the only advantage is that it's uh, like a backup because the road is you can always access that road because it starts from here, you go around here. And after you go to, to this small maze-like area with a path to here that goes around here, path to here that goes under, a path like, isn't that showed like this, a straight line, or uh, either going to this iron or jumping from here to here. More iron fence in the way, drop down and you mix back out and like what I wanted to have all these pathways lead me back to this area that I could have easily done by the market. Well, there's, I've added these, this couple of lumber blocks you jump around, you can climb, and then uh, you come back to 
the uh, tunnel area where people did more jumps. So it takes you a lot more time, but you can continue on the high path. Also, I like how, because of how uh, this area structures, it's pretty hard to notice uh, the other side. Uh, and like, example, minus one, three, one, get a number, and this sign is actually because important because, you know, realize it's actually a bit on one block on the left, then a couple blocks on the left, so it's actually just a important wall, I guess. It's just a cool effect that makes so that the, if there would be a loading area, like, like because these are big areas, you could easily just uh, like create the loading trigger around this. Okay, this around this around this into this wall, and there's even a spot like. Why is there a car here? Well, it's because, well, you go, you go straight forward and don't, not realizing that, uh, well, I just walked out the si side line of this entire long uh, area. Which is cool, I guess. Also, if you're still listening, well, thanks, I guess, for caring about what I do. So we continue on here, all of the stuff that I did is in April, I since the quarantine. Be and not because not because I stopped working on Dungeon, simply because, well, Dungeon, the W14A, I already talked about this in the video a couple months ago. So I've added, wanted to continue the idea, but make it even more broken to show. So arrow, you jump from here if you want to go on the top upper path, but if not, you continue on all, with a lot of uh, debris and uh, signals in the way. There's not a lot of spots for spikes because this is, I just accepted at this point that I wouldn't be able to properly utilize spikes. Also, this area is kind of dumb. I'm sorry. So, go to a bridge and you can climb up to where you would be easily be able to run to here. Top of a path to here. With not an area, I like how it looks. This and there's a lot of ways to 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 uh, go around. It's just that it makes you I'm forcing you to go slower because of all these uh, like uh, you see uh, like all these warnings and you realize well I need to take this a bit more carefully because it's kind of a big gap. Uh, like 50 blocks ac across without you even realizing there's 50 blocks because that's just how fast and destroyed visions are. So we continue. Uh, an advantage of the higher path is if you can still keep up through this entire thing, go up here, go then jump here, here. actually have the momentum to do it and go here 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 continue into here then you can access into this small room that uh, will have time block on inside of here if if you did fail I'm giving you a second chance and uh, you need to stay on this these iron transplant this pile of dirt this pile of wood go down here uh, make sure you don't uh, fall into lava and then you can exit out normally like here a lot of holes for spikes if needed a couple of ways to exit this path is for all the people that would fall down because but I didn't implement it yet and now we're on to the final area there we town there would be the checkpoint, uh, like I'm telling you, an easy uh, section to help to chunk slow this bit harder. Just the two block, then a, just a couple of two, uh, two block and one block jump. 
But there is actually a, a using this bench style thing, you can climb this ladder and then start climbing trees early. But if not, that's okay. If not, you climb over the kiosk for the park and you can go around here. There's a lot of spider webs I've added. If you want, you can climb up here in the trees. And you'll be able to, if you don't suck like me, then you can skip uh, this wall and not go into this area, this cave with a lot of cobwebs. And then uh, the, I force you to not uh, hug the walls by putting cobs in them, and then you're done. Uh, so, time for the quick flyby of a lot of areas. Uh, that uh, like okay how that I kind of make you force you to not actually be lost by just making areas that once you go in you cannot go back like oh I'm lost because there's I'm coming so much crowd uh, at some point you'll you'll get to an area that will force you back not be able, not be able to backtrack like first area is here. Uh, second thing, if you fall down to a bottom layer, this is one, but if not, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is another one for the sl slower path, and that also follows this, which is the last one, for a bit. Upper path, this, these two jumps are it. You don't feel it at first, but these two jumps you do makes you... I'm able to backtrack it anymore into the other pass areas and just tire thing. Because like I'm trying to push people forward and not like, oh my god, did I just backtrack? Oh my god, I don't want to do it. Oh my god, I just backtracking to I think I'm lost. I I've made the terrain to make sure that you're not lost. And then to wrap up, uh, to make everything go back into the same level, uh, this platform falls you down and exiting out of uh, the marketplace of the apartments will also make you fall down. And then you can just continue to this last section with, uh, as you can see, floors pass. So, Fast path and for the the uh, this path is actually this this area is actually it. So I'm just slowly is without you realizing you go into area. I was thinking really hard about it because you just go fast. You just go areas so you can't go back. Like also this this jump is the most important one that you can't go back because. And we're back in this pretty much the only thing because there's a lot of you know, st stuff like that eventually you can always go back to this spot. But of course you could die by fall damage. But and you were not to, but yeah. Think about it. This area for areas that you can't go back after. Uh this one uh the going to the pipe here is to block high so you can't go back. Honestly, you can go back to you can still roam all around here, but you can't go back to the road. And the second one that you can go back is this set uh, this uh, drop down. And then last one is you know is this pile of thing. This just drops down on your level, f while for the main path, the intended way for beginners. Going on top, at each hole you go to at this tunnel, uh, you won't be able to go back after you go to the bows, and if you're going to your well, you're just still in the same area. But if not, these there's a two block high with nothing to jump off for every uh, bit, like here, here, and then for the people that exit out correctly here. 
and then we continue this pit we're not be able to go back and then there's nothing left until you exit out of here also yeah as all these blocks are placed by hand I a lot of these blocks are placed to make sure that this looks nice and before you exit out of uh, the tunnels to make sure that you don't decide to go in the other direction there's these three in this 1.5 to make sure that you don't decide to backtrack yet again there's actually no backtracking there's, you can actually always backtrack to all the way around here because there's no roll down but you can't go back here But for the longer path, uh, all these drop downs for other stuff, this make, can't make you go back, but you can still climb around here. It does, it's just the same idea, but uh, once you, but for the most bottom path, this makes you unable to go back. This, I mean, you can, if you're able to do it well you can but whatever and after this these path makes you not be able to go back this drop down again and this drop down makes you not able to go back and just drop this area this already a no go back uh, I put a lot of them near the start to make sure you don't you know, a couple of them, I, in a couple of them, usually later on, I put a uh, no going back area before and after of them to make sure you don't um, just mm, try to uh, regen your health for the last them. And boost the regen, which is, even though it's only three seconds, not that much. This one is really hard to tell. There's a lot for the bottom, but the first w one for, but yeah, it's the middle path. Yeah, all of these is a lot depending on the level, but they all end up here. All end up here. The drop down is two blocks for the top half and all of them for the bottom, but before we continue to the next section, let's talk about some stuff about the most bottom path. Bottom path, nothing interesting until you go here, which makes you not go back here and also here and also here. And it's pretty much a big giant area around here. That keep going for a bit, and like I'm telling you, the only obligatory like, not going back area is here, and then this small drop down here. Obvious no going back zone. And then uh, we continue. Top path, ob obviously, you can go back. Bottom path, the, there's a small drop down here but for middle path you have a lot to work with actually minus these these things but you can't really go back and once you enter uh, this path uh, all paths uh, makes you not be able to go back after this and there's nothing in the last area that can make you go back is this area for top half, so it's not the. Uh, this can make you go back, and even though this area seems available, this, this, these blocks are here. So second level, first exiting out of this. Uh, there's only two really exiting out and going inside the tunnel. And that uh, you can continue, and there's 
Yeah. No real issue here. But this checkpoint, uh, that's where a couple of... But after here, obvious no going back zone. Uh, lava section uh, is, is too complicated, you'll probably tell them. Some I don't even remember, but trust me, it works. This, is, if we exclude this small corridor, you can go back. Uh, but uh, the real not going back is here. Going into the shortcut goes around and all the other path at least here. Well, you can go back. Same is here. Because you can't climb to here or jump too high. And then you, the, for the lava one, you to know going back zone is here. Which is all with another one here. And now for this, the last section that is fully done, if only real no going back is here, but to add, uh, first no going back is here, uh, second no going back zone is this section, after the uh, farthest you can go is here, nowhere to go else, and you had to I can't really make it go back and like I showed you earlier all these paths are have a drop down inside them this path even though it seems it actually climbs up actually no you could technically go back whatever I just realized it just realized that there's one exception to this no going back rule but to do it, you already need to be on top of here, or on top of here, and people on the bottom, well, this pillar of sand is just enough for them. The more uh, shenanigans, no, not a lot of no going back zone because of this whole pit, but you can get an idea of where you need to go, and in the no going back zone is here. No going back zone after this checkpoint is obviously to either here or here. And the last one right now is here. So let's talk. Let's do a third look around. Damn, my voice is harsh. And talk about details. You can see a lot of normal details. Small cabin here. Not a lot of. You pretty much all the stuff in the first area you can see. But I tried to make a canyon, make some. So the, the overhangs, I kind of failed. My skills aren't good. Uh, but here, this sector probably has the most inf things. This area could theoretically connect to each other in some way. I know this stuff, like these, this open area connects to this set of stairs that connects to the dome on top, which also connects to these two and this area and this area. And also there's a door and a cool trick of using a, a complete 180 uh, to, to, uh, to make sure that you stop working on it. Which can also be used here to, to uh, kind of think how much far you need to go. Uh, flower shop with a bit of clay, no, just a bit of staircase I had to, but a back door area, but also, you know, so all these things are placed, uh, this doesn't lead to anything, this actually has a couple of detail, like then, you can it's not a lot, but this size work. This is just a bunch of uh, wood panels to block off the windows. Also, I'm not putting beds to make sure that nobody can exploit beds for spawn points. Because I'm scared. Even though I know that no one can right now. Uh, all these trees. Uh, 
Also, this is connected to uh, all oh, decoration, but this is connected with this room, which is also connected with this room, which is also connected with this room. Meaning, all these rooms are connected to, to the tunnels you see throughout the map. With stuff inside all of them. And another showcase of trees and different things, with this one being a bigger showcase and this being a room that doesn't have anything. And now to fit into this uh, to the apartment area with the alleys. Basketball hoop, locker, net I showed earlier. Not a lot of stuff happening on the left side is all empty if I done it correctly with the empty edit. But if not, uh, I've uh, tried to add a lot of decoration for so that uh, for the people that run this can I actually see. Oh, that even though there's a hole, there's still colors of a creeper inside of it. But when you see from the top, there's nothing. Cool. A couple of flags with it all. Color different color palettes and different wood type hues. This one leads to nothing. This okay. This path, this door leads to this door. Did you show you how much these two areas are close to each other? Couple of rooms. This one has a TV. Both. Uh, this one has a TV. This one has a desk and a. Uh, Bed. This one. This window leads to this. Uh, bed and two tables. Uh, two, uh, two beds, and then there's. Uh, uh, I should. I told. I. I should change this to balcony to make it more cool. Now for the shops and the market. Uh, you know, pumpkin uh, melons. Uh, counter with. Desk, pumpkin room, not the melon room, and, which is way bigger because I have more space to work with. Because this is on literally on what you're running under is actually the display case for pumpkins. Mm -hmm. uh, these rooms to show that I'm really space efficient. Uh, orange place to record the shop. This room that's nothing. This room that's just to at uh, this window, uh, red sand shop. Uh, on top, there's doors that just lead to nothing because I'm not creative. And a shit ton of tables, more flags. This double set of flags to block out the path. And you go around here. Uh, three vehicles here. Uh, a couple of tables here, but uh, there's actually cubicles up here that you can't really see. We have a shit ton of uh, the stairs for it to represent, like, oh, a lot of you just decided to put a lot of uh, chairs in one spot. That's a joke. Oh, people don't even realize this. This is just to show my dedication to detail sometimes. Door that with Cleverly making it so that there's no way to see the other side. This room that just leads to a ladder of nothingness. This thing, like, use doesn't matter, but the main focus is this. Like, because how I broke up the side line, you can't see the other side. Cool place of wood here. There's even freaking sea lanterns in this whole hallway. Even though it's over the void, you can't really see it. And there's wood stuff, even though you can't really see it properly. Well, you can from up here, but there, hey, it's there. Pretty keen eye. And a uh, concrete. Creative white, black, and yellow. Guess why not? A uh, stack of wood, red sand, more wood for decoration, acacia trees, uh, all 
This is the only not a thing I don't like of Genkisha Tree thing. I kind of messed it up. It it went to stay, honestly. If not, I all the barriers tried to put it uh, in the same distance. Actually, no, it's not the same distance, but I tried. A uh, second, uh, lava truck first one is on top is smaller and is on top of the this uh, room. Details run here, details all the wood layers are different. And even then, a cloud of wood, more stuff. You know, you, you can take the time to see. I mean, you could also see on your own, but I'm just doing a video for the people who don't want to take time or just get cool anecdotes. Like uh, me uh, having difficulties with uh, the king leaves in this room. Because it was way more leaves on top, and I don't remember how that happened. Or on oh, having uh, rams having issues with this how this flowed, so it left me with this small area that didn't do anything. I killed this even the room here. There's there's a, not a lot of details here, but there's fucking iron doors here. This how insane I am! Uh, even more, just like iron doors on air, all these sets of things, and there's you can only pretty much see it from certain angles. Like, uh, I mean, you could see it from here. You could see one from up here. Can you see one from the from this passage? No, that's it's just my. Overdoing it, I guess. All this sand, which isn't random, and it's just put in a way so try to hide all the problems with uh, the buildings because there's a lot of fort stuff. Let's go go sand building. Heck, even just this small area on the. I tried to keep it all a couple of patterns, but it didn't work. But even just a random tunnel, it still has two vehicles with blocks in the back, with dark carpet to make it darker. Stuff like that. Or all these lamps, or all the details on top of this tree that I added. Wood pile in the back, I guess why not? Details of the fountain that you probably won't see because it's too block high. You're just to focus on winning now. Or details like like I already showed in the alleyway. All the sand that flows together in a way. This is a giant pile of white concrete that that they that I tried to joke about how they uh, the uh, previously just tear out more concrete for their concrete containers. By just ripping stuff out of them to make the numbers very efficiently, or uh, or uh, there's actually nine numbered ones. Number one is here. Number two here. Three, four, blues. Five. Number six is on the side. Number seven is stuck here. Number eight is somehow being pulled up by only two stacks of wood that. You won't even, which I mean, I understand I don't need to show this because, well, it's to the bottom and number nine is, number nine is here. With all these blocks for decoration in one way or another. Like, even decoration like this, all just like they broke down the road here. This area, which might have been a bit of a mess to figure out. Or more decoration, like seeing the this from here. The crane, which I yes I copy pasted. Sorry. Wood, like all of the sides of the sands, all of, all of this has been thought of. These water containers being built, 
with all stuff like this and water just randomly somehow flowing. Also, this wall is one thick, so that's why I'm not can't really show more of the water containers being built, but showing that there is like stuff like pipes and materials for it being used on the other side of this fence. Oh, a uh, broken lighting. Uh, these piles of sand that don't really do anything, but you get your scenery. Even more containers, I didn't number them because I couldn't be bothered at that point. And it kind of makes sense because I gave a joke in the in the last section for why some of them aren't numbered because they need to be numbered. This section is big, so I don't have a lot of decoration for it. Near this, this, this is supposed to be like an area where uh, uh, they use uh, the heat to make uh, glass panels. All of these small things I thought of. This area, which doesn't really have any grand scheme of things. All the, this lava container, which Really go that high, minus the middle. Like all this cool stuff, also, uh, this, I need to redo this a bit of this area because I accidentally put a fill command in. A fill? Yeah, this. Sure, yeah. Whoops. With all this detail, like. So behind this, I plan to. So I have to make sure that the tunnel is long enough, and it, I've put the fucking end like 10 blocks from where you start, I could literally just put a new area that's just dedicated to m trying to figure out how to navigate to this, but I'm not doing it because I just want to keep the illusion that the tunnel goes on for pretty much forever, even though it can't because it needs to turn at some point because of this building, I mean, it could turn on the left, or it could turn on the right. Kind of when it makes sense that it does, it just serves more gameplay. Like, all this, all the amount of blocks and lighting thought of in the plan. This area with this train, this area, all the like, even this, I've thought of on this door, simple doors, the height of where everything should go. I mean, I could put more more road on it, but the door makes sense because I put the height of the door, whatever. All of these blocks trying to look makes a, from a lot of angles, it's pretty much really hard to, which what I wanted. Really hard to see the other end of it because of all the uh, of how broken it is, and also consistency with the pipe. Like green is water, orange pipes for lava. Like there's lava in all these pipes, and I thought of even all these pipes just aren't like that. Or how all of these continue for a bit, like just like two tra exit train stations for, but they're, they're here. Or this, which got me inspired by the one tree on Nottawa. All the wood, I, I stopped working a lot of this, but store just for decoration. All the different designs of uh, for the red ones and then the alternating color scenes for this set. So simple. Also, this you might even want this. What's horrible is if you fall in here, you can just climb back up. But I think of this trying to make it so seem like this is a top of the building restaurant with all these tables, shine thing. Likes area. So, this is a slowing down section. Just 
Yeah, I'm starting to run out of details to talk about, but this video is already going long enough. I don't even know what time it is, but I'm glad that I this time put it in one audio track. So, thanks for watching for this more in detail video of all the details for out of this. I'm saying out.